Gotcha! <laughs> Boy, you are clumsy. Listen to that power that he's got. Whenever you're on a good bite, it's kind of hard to leave it behind. That's what happened with me out there at the jetties. Uh, feeling those jacks tug at the end of my line and then hearing that drag scream, it's, yeah, I'm just so addicted to that and I want to stay on it. But with the cold front hitting and me not having that much jetty experience, I'm going to kind of leave that behind a little bit. We're going to go out today and fish from the outback. We are here at the launch and we have one heck of a pedal in front of us but there are no winds there's supposed to be like maybe four miles an hour out of the like north and it's 48 degrees right now the water looks calm and beautiful putting the waders back on because of these cold fronts saw it on facebook somebody did a meme about hey canada your weather's drunk <laughs> it's here in texas or something like that that's what it makes me think of like these fronts just need to stay away and just like that we are off one heck of a long pedal in front of us going down the intercoastal and it is calm as far as we can see i am looking forward to exploring this new area seeing what it's about hoping that oh there was something right up there but hoping that we can see some fish in the shallows that would be icing on the cake Oh, there goes one right over there. My thinking is it's going to be a red. Let's put this down. We'll get the swimming jack ready right here in all that oyster. Oh yeah, that's a red. Clear as day, I can see him. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's going after it. Ugh! Got him. Got him. <sighs> yes. First sight casted red of the day. And he's a beautiful one too. Get over here, honey. Get over here. Look at that. <laughs> that was way too easy. Oh my gosh, beautiful just absolutely gorgeous sight casting reds it is the best feeling in the world look at that that is just gorgeous lay it down baby come on sweet girl 23 and a half inches actually no that's uh 23 and three quarters Taking a look at the tail right there. It is just absolutely gorgeous right there. Right in the top of the mouth. Swimming jack, redfish. And there she goes. This is a hoagie swimming jack, and that's a 1 8 ounce bass assassin swim hook. Uh, I've got a 15 pound liter line fluorocarbon, 10 pound power pro. Uh, that's braid. I'm using a Shimano Calcutta Conquest 100 series, very tiny uh, bait casting reel, and then I've got a custom seven foot rod. This is the light action. You really can't find light action bait casting rods on the market. That's why I went custom. I'm using a power pole to stop my forward drift as I'm push pulling through these waters. It's pretty simple to see the reds because the uh, wind is not blowing and they pr pretty much give themselves away if their tails come up out of the water it's like maybe a foot and a half deep so everything is going good for us uh, we have the conditions on our side and to our advantage oh look at that there's one right over there Okay, 
He sees it. Does he see it? No, he didn't go after it. I don't think he saw it. <clears throat> I spooked him. Ah, I spooked him. Oh, that's a bummer, because I landed right there in the grass. If I had came in nice and just steady, then maybe we'd have got lucky and been able to hook him. He was a nice size one too. Oh, he, we got him. He came back after it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, baby. That is a nice one. Oh, look at that. Boy, oh boy. Was able to make the long cast, hoping that he would come right back after it and just thinking that I absolutely just lost him. Holy cow. Less than 15 minutes later, and we are hooked up on our second donkey. Oh, this place, it is so freaking, like this lake is massive. And I don't really do well, but I'm thinking because of the low winds, uh, that's what, what has allowed me to be able to see these fellas. Gosh, this guy's a little bitty. He's a torpedo. He's fat. And everything's just all coming together. Here we go for the measurement. That is a 21 and a quarter inch redfish. Beautiful fat butterball. Look at that. Good night, buddy. All right. We'll see you later, okay? Have fun. Thank you for uh, playing. All right, power poles up. Let's continue going down the grass line and seeing what we can find. We haven't been out here but maybe 45 minutes and already close to a limit. The five, that's like five mile, four, four to, oh, look at that, there's another one right there. Power pole down. This one's a smaller guy, but guess what? You catch one, you want to catch them all. What I was saying, the five mile pedal is worth, oh, we got him. Look at that. Oh my God, it was definitely worth it. This guy <laughs> minding his own business and hooked up. My gosh, I cannot believe this. Oh, thank goodness for the power pole coming in clutch. Look at that. Boy, that water is ice cold. It is 55 degrees. These fellas are out here feeding in it. That right there, 20 and a quarter. That is our limit. But just that quick. And that is it. We got ourselves a nice limit of redfish in less than one hour. It took about an hour to get here. And in one hour, we've already got our limit. That's just absolutely amazing. Oh, there goes one. He's right up ahead. All right. We're going to have some fun with this fella, though. So while I went away just for a little bit, I tied on a top water. Let's see if he's going to go after it. Uh-oh. He's on its trail. He didn't want to go after it. So before he gets closer, we'll give it one more shot. So he doesn't want it. All right. We'll see if we get another one to go after the top water. But for right now, we're going to catch this guy with a curl tail because I took off the swimming jack to put on the top water. All right, let's see if he goes after the curl tail. Oh, he's he's got it. Oh, yes, baby. Didn't want the top water, but we got him on the curl tail. Black and gold. <clears throat> That's all good. Look at that. These are all beautiful studs right here. Oh my gosh, we are having a blast. Boy, this guy has got something wrong with his eyes. Well, at least he can see good enough to bite the hook. That's all I care about. I wouldn't be eating this fella. He's probably come from Deer Park, huh? trying to escape and 
you got all that nastiness all over you. All right, settle down. Okay, we're going to call him 23 and a quarter. I'm not going to pinch him. I don't even want to touch this guy. He's got the he's got the crud all over him. Get off. Go. Oh, there goes one right there. All right. Here we go. This is like way too easy. It was like, oh, wait a minute. He just saw me. I can probably still get him if I keep my eye on him. He's coming towards me right now. Here we go. Gotcha! <laughs> Boy, you are clumsy. Listen to that power that he's got. Holy moly. I haven't had this much fun sight casting reds since last year at Port O'Connor. Here he comes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, just absolutely amazing. Feeling this tug, it never gets old. He's a mid slot for sure. And this guy is big, holy moly. Let's see what we're working with right here. 26 and three quarters of an inch of muscle. This dude just crushed it. And that's what I've been working with. Gold and, or black and gold curl tail. That second generation, this dude didn't think twice about it. My gosh, that's a beautiful redfish. How many times am I gonna say that? It's like they're, they're all beautiful. Where are you, buddy? Okay. All right, here we go. Right in front of his face. Gotcha. That's all he wanted. Just put it right in front of his face. <laughs> oh, that is just amazing. We got a double limit, baby. Worked our way to a double limit, sight casting some reds. Beautiful. This is another big donkey right here. He's trying to go under the boat. Get out from there. You can't hide from me. <laughs> you cannot hide. Get over here. The sooner we do this, I can get you know, back inside that water. Oh my gosh. This is just absolutely spectacular to be able to sight cast these reds. Curl tail bug. Oh wow. Look how beautiful this guy is. Come on, settle that tail down. Put it down. 22 and a quarter inch redfish. Oh my gosh. Spectacular fishing day. We earned this meal that we're about to have, and uh, I think I've burnt like maybe 2,000 calories. I don't know, but I'm gonna enjoy this. Hello, can I get a, uh, a brisket baked potato? This is super great Texas food. Look at this barbecue brisket potato right there, all the way loaded with butter, sour cream, chives, cheddar cheese. Oh, some of the best barbecue brisket. And then to finish it, we've got banana pudding. So a spectacular day ends with a spectacular meal. You guys just have got to understand one thing. We don't get fishing that's this good here in our uh, area. We are normally got like chocolate milk stain type water in our bay system. And when you have about two feet, close to two feet of visibility, and you're seeing redfish just do their thing. And the oyster alongside the grass, it, that right there is spectacular fishing for us here. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click that thumbs up button. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.